Breaking news, the feds handed out 342,000 bucks in bonuses to the executives that were working on the Arrive Can app. Yeah, you heard that right. 342,000 smackers in bonuses to the execs working on that Arrive Can debacle. I mean, talk about the ultimate example of the government handing out taxpayer-funded bonuses to failing government executives. But folks, it gets worse because these bonuses amounts were only to one of the federal departments that were working on the Arrive Can app. There was at least two other departments that were involved with Arrive Can that wouldn't disclose if and how much they paid out in bonuses to executives. So let's break the, down the numbers that we do have, okay? So through the Public Health Agency of Canada, the feds handed out 342,000 bucks to executives working on the app. Now, there was eight executives all told. So if you break down the numbers over the two years that this was happening, the average bonus to the executives was like more than $40,000. $40,000 for a total bill to you of 342 k in bonuses. Okay, let me just give you a little bit of a taxpayer timeline to recap just how crazy the Arrive Can scandal is. So the app was first launched in what, April 2020 with an initial cost of 80 grand. And then sometime around July 2022, we find out the cost spiraled to about $26 million. A couple months later, we find out the actual cost to taxpayers, to you, was like $54 million. Now, after that cost was announced, there was outrage in the tech industry in Canada, and you actually had two independent techies recreate the app in like a long weekend. Some say the raw development cost of the app should have been like 250,000 bucks, not $54 million. This is crazy. Okay, let me give you another example. Imagine, imagine you go to a mechanic for a simple fix on your car. The mechanic says that simple fix is gonna cost you 80 bucks. Then you find out that simple fix is now going to cost you 2600 bucks. Then you get the final bill back. It's $5,400 and the invoice is redacted. You'd be outraged. But that's exactly what happened with the Arrive Can app. That's how taxpayers were treated. And now we find out, hey, no matter that this was a national scandal, the feds are still rewarding more than 340000 bucks in bonuses to the execs that were at least involved with the process. Where's the accountability? Think about the perverse incentives of involved with this. Hey, don't worry, folks. You can uh, make taxpayers out 54 million, bu 54 million bucks and bonuses anyways. This has got to stop. We have to stop rewarding failure with taxpayer-funded bonuses.